So what you got to ask yourself is Blackpool ready for another storm? So Storm Bert is on the way uh, to the north of England. So, you know, is Blackpool ready to, uh, to stand up to yet another storm? You can see if you can just see it. Just make it out. You see all the, uh, the smash windows where people have managed to get in uh, at the past. Welcome back to a brand new video. So today we're going to have a, a bit of a walk through the town centre um, and along the uh, the promenade. I'm just going to have a look and see uh, if Blackpool is ready to uh, to stand up to yet another storm. And you can see, so it's about another about another hour's time, and it will be high tide. So at the moment, it's not too bad, and it just looks lovely in all the uh, the white in the water and the rumbling waves along the uh, the shoreline. But later this evening, early hours of the morning, there's going to be Storm Bert, which is going to uh, attack the other uh, north of England yet again. And you see the uh, the tower straight ahead once again. And the uh, the staff line is actually going round tonight, so it's very rare. It's actually been going round. So I'm not too sure if there's anybody on there. We'll have a, a bit of a closer look. But you see all the uh, all the seagulls are just watching the uh, the waves come in. As they're all grouped together and how lovely does that look north pier with that sun breaking through the clouds uh, just in the distance you see that lines and lines of seedles all lined up so i wonder if they're uh, aware that there's a storm on the uh, on the horizon and i'd imagine you know the uh, the sea is certainly going to be changing over the next 12 hours so just uh, walks past uh, North Pier and that's all closed up. So whether, I mean, normally that would be open on a Friday evening and uh, that's all uh, all closed up at the moment. So I wonder if they're uh, just taking them precautions knowing, uh, you know, within sort of six, 12 hours, the, uh, the storm will approach. So possibly, who knows, but normally that one's open this time of night. Let's just pan the camera around to the, uh, the, uh, the rice line. Look at that sunset. That's going to be a magnificent one. See the sun just, uh, like I said, just breaking through those clouds. So yeah, what we'll do, we're going to fly past the uh, Christmas market. We'll have a, a quick look on the outside because we've already filmed that one. Uh, but I'd imagine, you know, tonight you'll be getting very, very busy um, in Blackpool, which is, uh, which is great for, for everybody. So yeah, we'll, we'll scout past the, uh, the Christmas market and uh, head a little towards the, uh, the central pier. So yeah, this is the uh, the Christmas market. If you haven't already uh, seen previous videos, and uh, what a great uh, what a great display they've put on this year, bigger and better than any other year in Blackpool. And they've got all the uh, all the different rides and all the different stores. And that sun is literally right straight ahead. So I'm not too sure what it's going to turn out on the video. It might be a bit a little bit uh, discoloured. But yeah, so whip the camera around to the uh, the right. Might be a bit better. Yeah, this is uh, just some of the uh, the wonderful rides and the uh, the things what they've, they've put on. Really, really great. There's the uh, the ice skating ring, which is uh, will be open very shortly. Now it's actually free to go on that one, so make sure if you do visit, get yourself on that ice skating ring. They've even got little mini penguins what you can hold on to. You see it's, uh, it's getting a little bit more busy. Like I said, it's a uh, very early evening, but just look at those clouds. Look how daunting those look. You see like a very dark gray. Yeah, there we go there. We'll end on the, uh, the star flyer and then we'll, uh, we'll move on. So there we go, there's the, uh, the star flyer. So it looks like it's not gone up. It was up, there might be a bit of a practice one. But the, that's not up. And the question is, you know, how long before we get away with that? You see that car just on the. Uh, let's put the camera down. Just on the uh, on the on the uh, the roadside there. So you're not allowed to park there. So you know, if a traffic warden comes, you know, you might be facing a, a bit of a ticket. 
So rather than uh, rather him than me. So what we're going to do, we're going to pop back near the uh, the seats. I want to have a look at this central pier because the uh, the terrace bar certainly gets attacked when there's uh, the strong winds and the sea. It looks like pure white at the moment. It's, it's fantastic. The sea, listen, you know, it's listening and looking at the waves. It's uh, it's really nice. So we'll, uh, we're going to have a bit of a look and. Like I said, we'll see if the uh, central pier batten down the uh, the terrace bar. And you can just see, you know, with the uh, with the sea, there's so many people just mesmerised by it. You, know, you see those uh, little group of ladies just in front, and also another group, and they're just mesmerised with the sea because it is certainly, like I said, it's, a, it's an amazing part of nature. Just look at that. I mean, look at the uh, the sun. Like I said, breaking through them clouds, I and mean, how magnificent is that view? That's certainly something. And uh, it's not quite high tide yet, so it's about another hour, and it'll be uh, high tide. So whoever uh, hasn't watched their previous videos, this is like a little uh, shower. You can just all rinse your feet off, or even get a full shower if you wanted to. You know, it's, uh, it's entirely up to you, but this one has been running for quite a long time, and it's constantly running all the time, and looks like they've... Uh, sorted that problem out you can see it's now uh, completely uh, turned off which is great so we're just now approaching the uh the central pier and this is the last bit of beach what gets covered and uh, it's certainly coming in now like i said the uh, the high tide is in about 45 minutes 40 minutes and uh you see some gentleman there just walking his dog for the last walk this is the, uh, the last bit of beach, uh, what does get covered. And you can see the, uh, the sea is certainly uh, covering this one now. And uh, Central Pier is, uh, is going round. You see the, uh, the big wheel straight forward and uh, all, the, uh, all the debris on the beach, what's been uh, thrown up and uh, just tossed on the beach. So like I said, you know, if you've got a log burner, I'm certainly you can salvage a bit of wood. I bet you can, uh, there's all sorts of what gets uh, washed up. No wonder the, uh, the metal detectors, you know, get out first thing. I mean, look at this, we've got huge planks of wood. Look at that. We've got all sorts, gets washed up, you know. Again, look at this huge log. Look at that, that'll keep your, uh, your fire going for a good while. Look at that one. There's a, there's a couple of days of uh, firewood there. And uh, yeah, like I said, this is a central pier. You can see the, uh, the big wheel going around. I'm going to have a look at this terrace bar because uh, hopefully they'll have uh, battened down most of the chairs and tables. So we just arrived at a central pier and you can see there's uh, already three. There's like a staff, probably uh, just uh, having a look, maybe taking that little inflatable down. You can see it's like half up. I don't think they'll be putting that one up tonight. So it's like there's a, there's a bit of work going down here. Yeah, I think they are. Uh, are, they, uh, are they inflating it? That's, that's unusual if they're inflating it. Very unusual. So yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see and find out if this uh, terrace bar um, can stand up to the, uh, to the storm tonight. And every time we have a bad storm, all these tables and chairs uh, gets lost on the promenade. If we just have a quick look uh, over, you can see it looks like they've uh, they've put more. Let's have a look through the uh, the old netting. So yeah, this is uh, this is central pier, like I uh, meant, just mentioned, another fantastic pier. You can see the uh, the amusements and the lights and the wheel is uh, going round, which is uh, which is great, ready for. Uh, ready for all the uh, visitors later on this evening. So we're just one street off the, uh, the promenade, you see the, uh, the old police station and courthouse is still standing to this day. Uh, so they haven't got a date um, for the uh, the demolition on this one. I mean, I've been looking avidly to see when this one's uh, 
gonna come down but uh, as of uh, today there's no definite date no set date for the uh, for the building to go and uh, yeah so we'll just have a, a walk like i said just one street off the uh, the promenade i used to be able to get up to the uh, the other side you cross over the uh, the road using these steps and uh, what we'll do in fact what we'll do we'll pop up and uh, just have a, a bit of a look because you used to be able to walk up these steps and uh, there's like a little uh, bridge what took you to the uh, the other side of the police station how many people would imagine have walked these steps crossing over in the past and uh, now what faces you is uh, a fence just make it out you see all the uh, the smash windows where people have managed to get in uh, at the past and uh, obviously through sort of bricks and all sorts at the old building and just thought I'd just stop you can see the old uh, Bonnie Street sign and you can see these are the, some of the things they used to sell you know the shoes the rock the food everything what you can imagine uh, the use of sort of this market. It's such a shame, it's, uh, it's sadly gone before it's time, I might add. Like I said, it's still uh, derelict and they could have been traded for uh, maybe another you know, year or two, but yeah, wonderful, uh, wonderful sign still stands. And the seagulls certainly don't care where they uh, make their nest or where they stand, you see, on the, uh, the old car top. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this bit of a short video today. Uh, just uh, like I said, you know, Stormbird is on the way make sure you know you stay safe keep indoors when the winds do come at the moment you know it's like a, a lovely spring day it's not too cold and the temperature seems to have uh, you know jumped up a few a uh, few degrees this morning or since this morning but like i said the uh, the the storm is on its way and uh, yeah let's have a, a quick look around the uh, the north side and uh, just see if there's anything else uh, new before we uh, we close the video out today so this is the uh, relatively new uh, Coyote Ugly Saloon and uh, I haven't actually been in there as of yet apparently there's some uh, great reviews and uh, yeah so we're just walking like I said uh, a little bit further the uh, the north side and uh, see some of the uh, some of the shops are open and some of them are closed because it's a uh, it's that time of year and uh, what always gets busy no matter what time of year is the uh, the pubs in Blackpool, which is uh, the, the famous ones, are uh, just coming up. And that's uh, another one, the beach fish and chips. So again, I haven't tried the uh, anything in there, the beach fish and chips. You know, let me know in the comments if you've uh, tried that one. But yeah, the uh, the pubs, the, the main ones will get busy is uh, the Shanigans, which you can see, and the Yates's, um, which is uh, directly next door. And uh, in fact, what we'll do, we'll probably end the video uh, and just see how uh, Starbucks is uh, is coming along um, in the Four Shores Hotel. So uh, they are building a Starbucks at the Four Shores Hotel. So we'll have a, a quick look and just see how that one's getting on. So you can see the uh, wet paint signs all along the uh, Four Shores Hotel because this is where Starbucks is going to be uh, located and uh, like I say it looks like they've uh, done a bit of painting outside and uh, it looks actually quite nice so this is where just near Market Street is uh, the new Starbucks so as soon as that comes we'll uh, bring that one to you so just walking past the uh, the other nightclubs uh, Pop World and walk about on the right hand side and uh, that's either, I'm not sure if it's a, a bit of building work or the cleaning the roof. There's a, a huge like, crane machine which has uh, transported a couple of guys on this uh, roof. So we'll have a, a quick look at that one. And uh, there's certainly uh, brave souls up there. Look at that. So it's possibly like an extractor fan. Maybe the, uh, they're looking at. Oh yeah, you see that huge machine, they've got it down this uh, very tight um, little alleyway and they're there, I don't know what's, uh, what's going on. I don't know, 
Is it like an extractor fan? Or something. You see how brave they are. I don't fancy that being up there. Yeah, he's certainly uh, taking his time walking around that one. And uh, that one, uh, you see the rope attached to him. One move and you know, one slip. And uh, he's down. But yeah, what a job. Hope he's on the decent money for that work. Look at that. seagull look at that how uh, how his sleep he is so he's um, his eyes just just opened and you know, so he's having a, a five minute break and this is always a wonder wonderful sight always this time of uh, the evening the uh, hundreds and hundreds of starlings fly around and uh, prepare for somewhere to roost you can just see there's a uh, Lots and lots of these. They just go around you're like. This is a another group, and uh, there's, a, there's another group just right on the at that building, and there must be you know like 500 starlings, and uh, it's like there's a there's a hatch open. In fact, that was probably where they was doing some of the work. To be fair, um, so whether they've got like an influx of starlings gone into the building themselves, but you can just see them all lined up. There must be, you know, sort of five and look at that. Here they go. Wow. Look at that. Let's see if we can just follow them around a little. And there they all are. Look at that. That's, a, that's an amazing sight. So I hope you enjoyed that, uh, that video. Like I said, it's the calm literally before the storm because there's no wind at all. It's, uh, it's quite a bit of a strange one. So, yeah, if you did enjoy that video, don't forget hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, any comments I will try to get back to you as soon as possible. And until next time, take care of yourselves if the storm is going to land in your area. All the best, take care, bye bye.